All right, I just taped this and then I forgot to push the button. I'm getting to be doing that a lot. I did that on the last trip too. Anyways, this is uh, Mr. D here and uh, uh, my daughter Chelsea. Uh, we're going backpacking on my mother-in-law's farm. Uh, it's about 165 acres, so we're heading back about two, two and a half miles. Well, about one and a half, two miles. And uh, we're gonna test some new equipment. We've got a cheap hack version of a two-person tent, a lightweight one that weighs about four and a half pounds, and Chelsea's gonna uh, work on that. Uh, so it only costs us about 38 bucks instead of getting a, a really fancy one. So we'll see if it works. And if it doesn't, she'll have a bad night's sleep. And I'm gonna use my bare butt to hammock. Uh, this is my first hammock hang, and uh, I've got a Priya uh, recharge under pad, and I've got some Reflectix too, so I think we'll be okay, uh, but this will be a new experience. It rained about uh, two inches of rain two days ago, so the creeks are all up, and it's kind of wet. So it might be a little damp slug in, but hopefully we'll be able to stay dry. And should be able to find some dry wood because it's been kind of windy the last couple days. So I've uh, got a new guy going with us here. This is Bowen. And Bullwinkle is now going to be going on all of our back, my backpacking trips, and uh, so this will be his first hammock experience too. So uh, we'll see you on the trail. Okay, so we just uh, came up the first hill, and I'm already winded <laughs> as usual, but uh, it's a lot steeper than it looks. It's probably about a 35% grade, so it comes up pretty quick. Uh, if you look behind us, we're going down in there. There's a bunch of uh, hemlock down in there. We'll probably camp in tonight. It kind of depends. I'll have to look a little more for my hammock than normal, probably. And uh, we also, the last time I was here, there was about two feet of snow on the ground, maybe two and a half. And it was really windy up here. It's still windy, but not too bad right now. So, and it's supposed to get up, what is it, about 42 here now? Probably 42 or 43 right now. It's supposed to get up to 49 or 50 today. The sun's supposed to come out, but I'm not holding my breath on that yet. It's, it looks pretty cloudy. And uh, so but it's gonna be down to probably 38 tonight. So that's not terrible. Uh, she should be fine. Uh, we'll see if I'm gonna be warm on my backpack. I have all these people on my, or my hammock, yeah. <laughs> I have all my, these people tell me how cold it is in a hammock. And uh, so we'll find out, uh, but I think I'll be okay. So we're gonna head down this hill and uh, I'll probably stop a few times or maybe just talk while we're on our way down after we get down the ways. But I want to use my trucking poles at least part of the way. So we'll get back to you later on. Okay, so just so we'd show the trail here. It's not really a trail trail, but a bunch of ATVs uh, my in-laws have some, so they come down here some of the time. So we're kind of walking along that, and it makes it a little bit easier. Basically pretty much meadow land. My father-in-law used to milk 50 cows uh, every day, and uh, well, actually twice a day. And uh, so they used to graze them back here. And I've gone deer hunting back here for, well, now I end uh, I must be 40 years now. And love, love this area. It's really, really nice. <laughs> Try not to run into the brambles. Yeah, yeah there's been a few thorns here, so. We also had a definite smell of a skunk. And uh, he must have had to run in with something because it really smells. <laughs> so hopefully, yeah, here's deer poop. <laughs> All right. I'm trying my darndest not to say so every time I turn the video on. I've been watching my stuff on YouTube and <laughs> it seems like I say so every time. We're uh, standing above French Creek. French Creek is uh, runs along my father's property and this cliff here is probably about uh, 75 or 100 feet and this is one of my favorite spots to come. It's just beautiful. My wife and I actually camp right along here oh, 45 years ago and uh, 
so uh, it just has some great memories and uh, it's just beautiful here today. Uh, we've been hoping we might see an eagle. There's been an eagle around uh, Finley Lake, which is near where we're at. We saw him on the road the other day at a, uh, uh, what you call it, a, a wetlands area that they put around when they built the uh, uh, Route 86 coming into uh, New York here. And uh, so he was sitting there and yeah, looks like there's a little bit of sun, so that's good. So we're just camping out, or we're just looking around for some campsites. This would be a nice place here, but uh, then we have to drag a lot of wood. I don't really want to drag a ton of wood uh, up here and have a fire. So I think we'll just go back down to the hemlocks. Also, it's kind of breezy here. This is not bad now, but at 38 or 36 degrees tonight, it might be a little chilly. So, uh, but hope you can enjoy the view. It would be nice to camp here because you can hear that uh, creek going. In Ohio they'd call this a river, but up here in New York we just call it a creek. <laughs> so. One of the things you always want to look for are widow makers. Those are things that are trees or dead branches that might come down in a windstorm. And if you look right above me here, there's one. And uh, so I'm going to try to get that down. I don't know if you can see it up there. But we're gonna try to get that down. I just put my bare butt uh, hammock up and got the ridge line uh, figured out. I, it was a little less than 83% for me. I had to pull it up a little tighter, but uh, uh, everything is feeling comfy. And uh, if I want to, I can make it kind of curl right around me. Uh, so I think I'm going to be having some fun tonight. It sure is comfortable. Oh my goodness. And when you go sideways, kind of at a diagonal, it's even better. So, so yeah, uh, got to get my rain fly up now. And, uh, but, uh, I don't know if you can see my ridge line there. And I've got a mosquito net as well that I can hook up to this, but I don't think I'm going to do it tonight. We've had a couple bugs here, but nothing great. I may just put a little deed on and we'll be okay. So, more to come. Okay, so we have my hammock and my tarp all set up. Uh, made a little mistake, my trees weren't quite far enough apart for my tarp, so the tarp's actually uh, overlapping the tree on the other end a little bit. If I had this to do over again, I could just flip the tarp uh, the other way and uh, it would fit better. But uh, it's okay, it's not supposed to rain tonight anyway, so we should be good. And uh, so, yeah, I like this. Well, we've been cutting some wood. I think I can show you some of it. We got some nice big pieces here. Chelsea's got one she just cut. And uh, so that's good. Her tent's up behind her. And then I've got my stuff there. All my stuff all over the ground there. That's the only thing about uh, hammock camping. I little nervous about is having all my junk laying around like that. I somehow got to pick up some of that stuff. I think I'm going to pack most of it in my backpack and uh, hang it up on one of the limbs on the tree here so that uh, it doesn't, uh, little critters don't come running around and get in it. So yeah, so we've been working pretty hard. It's about 4.50, almost 5 o'clock. What time do we get here? Probably 2.30? something like that so we've got our tent all set up and then uh, our camp's basically set up and we're just cutting wood now we're going to cut a little bit more we might stop and have a cup of cocoa or something first uh, but yeah and it's uh, ended up being a pretty nice day the sun is almost out it's kind of partly cloudy partly sunny uh, but that's been nice of course it started coming out and really being really hot about the time we were sawing wood so <laughs> then we got really warm so anyways we're having some fun so, Bullwinkle's here. He just checked out the camp, and uh, Chelsea's sitting with me, and we got some uh, stuff cooking on my new Stanley um, cooker. It basically comes with two cups and a 
uh, uh, just a pot to boil water in. And since all we're doing is basically uh, our mountain house meals, that's all we need to do is boil some water. And we brought our own cups that are a little bit better and a little bigger, so uh, I just use it to put my socks in uh, on the way. So, yeah. We've got uh, Bullwinkle here, and he's next to my bare butt thing. Uh, I think that's going to look backwards to you guys because uh, I'm running uh, uh, the thing in multi or uh, reverse. But uh, yeah, so Bullwinkle's having a great time here so far. And uh, it's been a really nice day. Uh, again, a lot of you have been following me for a while. I don't go a long ways. This is probably, well, it's probably a mile and a half back in here to just walk. It's kind of hilly, so it's, it's a, it wasn't too bad coming in, in. It wasn't too slippery, which was really nice. I was expecting to be a little slicker. And it wasn't too damp. Uh, it dried out just enough. So there's some wet areas, but we were able to kind of step around them. Uh, so it's a pretty nice day. I mean, it was 70 degrees here about uh, four days ago. And so uh, uh, we're kind of disappointed it isn't a little bit warmer, but uh, it'll give us a good test for our uh, stuff tonight, and especially for me for my hammock. Uh, again, I'm pretty excited about that to try it. And I'm going to have the Reflectix underneath my Pariah um, recharge uh, bag and uh, then my zero-degree uh, field and stream uh, sleeping bag. It's mummy bag, and I think... That'll keep me plenty warm. I, I'll be surprised if I'm not plenty warm on that. Biggest thing will be, can I get comfortable in everything? And can I get in my sleeping bag and get it zipped up and stuff without dropping out of the hammock? That that probably is my bigger challenge, but uh, I think I'll be able to do it okay. All right, so as many of you know, I am just kind of an amateur backpacker, and I don't like to spend a lot of money. And uh, I needed to get myself a smaller... Uh, backpacking tent because the one I had was a four man and it weighed about 13 pounds all together with the stakes and everything and I needed something lighter so I was thinking about getting a Eureka or a Kelty or something like that but you're still talking even on sale you're talking 100 to 125 bucks and I know a lot of people just don't have that kind of money to go backpacking so I got on eBay and I looked at some of the knockoffs and uh, they're all, most of them are made in China and so I decided to take a chance on one so uh, I got one. I don't even know exactly what the name of the company is, uh, but uh, most of them are about the same. And so uh, this is the one I got. It cost me, I think it was like 38 bucks or something like that. I've seen some as low as 32 or 30. It's, uh, it, well, there we go. So it has a vestibule. It's not a real big one. As you can see, there's not a whole lot of room. I could stretch that out a little bit more. Uh, but the vestibule splits in half, so you can roll these up. There's a little... Uh, a tie thing here now what's interesting is it's a loop on one side and then a single strap on the other so you can't just tie it you actually have to loop it through which i find really annoying but uh it works so it's not too bad if you look on the uh, other side you'll notice that the, this side has a door as well so there are two doors on this which makes it nice if you're using it for two people i'm really only getting it for one probably maybe my daughters if they both come could get into this but uh, if they both come they might rather carry the bigger tent as well um and uh, i didn't show uh, when we tear it down tomorrow maybe i'll uh, show us tearing it down so you can see it's a clip on so all of the uh the tent inside clips on there's no sleeves to go through so that's really nice so it goes up really fast and as you can see in here, it's got a D door. Uh, the zippers are not really high quality, uh, so we have to kind of be careful with that. But it's got a good mesh on it, it's nice and thin, so it's not going to let any bugs in. And uh, go ahead, you unzip that again. Notice that it goes already down, though. It doesn't go to the side, which I like a D that goes to the side better, but it's okay. It's got a couple of vents uh, on the top. They don't have any kickstands, so you'd have to use one in a, with a stick. Okay, and uh, little... Chelsea, you can show them around the inside and show them where the pockets are or whatever. There's a pocket over here. That's really the only uh, pocket in here that I there found. Uh, there's no on top, but there is a little hook, hook that I uh, yeah. already have a uh, flashlight for later ready yeah. just so I can see yeah. from up there. And that's about it. There's nothing too fancy on the inside. Just the two doors, the one pocket, and... Uh, the hook on top yeah but the bottom it's... isn't real thick but it's thicker uh I, we, we always use a ground cloth so 
we're not too worried about getting leaks in it. And uh, the rainfly seems strong. It's not a real great one, but um, it does uh, not, you know, it doesn't let water through real easily. Uh, I forget the rating on it right now. I'll try to post that. But uh, uh, it, it's got a pretty good rating. And the, uh, I think, I'll take that. I think uh, the little stakes here, I think this uh, has some reflective, uh, what you call it, uh, uh, can't think of the name, but it's reflective. So like when we use it at night, it stands out and you can see the guy lines real nice with a flashlight. So that's really nice. It has the typical uh, tie downs at the bottom. It's a freestanding. Uh, it's a fiberglass pole. Uh, so it's, but they're really lightweight. So they're not real strong. This isn't made to take a whole lot of beating, uh, but it has a little clip on thing to hook your tent there. And uh, it has the little post that, that goes in. So yeah. And then it stakes out around the sides and it's got these pullouts. So I'm pretty happy. I'm not sure that this would be really great inside <laughs> if we had a major storm or anything. But remember, I'm retired. So I tend to go out when it's going to be nice weather. If it's really going to be pouring, I tend to not go. And I'm not doing through hiking, at least not yet. So I think this is going to work for me if I really need it. Uh, my personal opinion is I'm going to love this tarp. I'm just really impressed with how comfortable it is. And I really haven't got a great setup here right now. This is my first time. I don't have the mosquito netting on it either, uh, which we could do. But I'm not really worried about that tonight. So, uh, so yeah, I think, uh, I think this is pretty... Uh, Oh, going to be a pretty good thing, and uh, yeah. Chelsea will try it out tonight, and we'll have a better idea in the morning. She has, uh, for her sleeping bag, she has a Field and Stream 30 degree. She's got a liner for it, and then underneath she's got, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but uh, yeah. there's the liner. And then she's got a Z-pad, and we'll have a reflector, a Reflectix uh, underneath of this as well. We're using that for our seats by the fire here, which this is one of the things I really like about these reflector things. Uh, they're basically, they're just those visors that you get for your car to keep the sun out coming through the windshield. And I got them for like $2.50 at Walmart. And uh, they, they work great because they, they, they're plastic on the outside so they don't get wet. So you can use them and then you can just uh, wipe them off before you put them in your sleeping bag and uh, or in, inside your tent. And, uh, the, you know, they're, they're great to use anywhere. So so we really like it so far. And uh, it is nice, too, because they reflect heat. I, 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 it's not a real cold day today, but I was a little bit cold. And so I sat down on that thing and, boy, the heat, I just heated right up because it reflected the heat to me. So as you can see, we've got some wood, too. We've been sawing some wood made a little base here for our fire because it's a little wet in here i like to build a fire though where it's kind of wet uh again we're, we're not expecting any rain here so we're not worried about getting washed out but it's a little damp in here which means we have less chance of the fire spreading and you know even if i don't get it all quite out next week i mean uh, tomorrow morning it still should be good we've got a lot of little uh, kindling to start it and uh, then we've got some smaller pieces and some bigger pieces and then uh, we've got some pretty nice uh, chunks here and some of it's uh, birch which will burn really pretty good and it's pretty good hardwood so uh, we think we'll have plenty of wood for fire uh, this is my tarp that I actually left I left this tarp uh, during winter camping because I couldn't I didn't have enough room to pull everything up on the on the uh, snowmobile and uh, this is a sweater that I had for that too, and it was actually frozen. So I actually left that in this bag here, and here's my mug that uh, melted <laughs> by the fire. So I left that stuff here too. So uh, we're going to uh, pull that out this, this time when we go back up. So got a nice little campsite here. Uh, we made a little kind of log seat type thing so we can sit there. Our feet will be pretty close to the fire, and I think we'll enjoy having supper here tonight. So I'm not a purist. Uh, I've got some fire starter under here. We're going to kind of go the log cabin style of fire rather than a teepee. Uh, I find that the teepees actually start better and really uh, get the fire going a little faster. But then they tip over and then you got to kind of almost reignite everything or resituate everything. So going in the box this time. And I've got actually two fire starter uh, things. I'll pull those out later and show you what kind I use. But I just get them at Walmart, the ones you use in your wood stoves and stuff. And I usually use two of them. And I usually bring three or four just in case the weather's really bad or whatever. And uh, so right now, 
Uh, I've just got two going, and this one on the left side is, or in front here is going really good. And we've got quite a little bit of wood, as you can see over here. We've got a lot of little kindling stuff, so hopefully I'll be plenty for getting started tomorrow morning. Uh, we'll keep the fire going tonight, but we won't go too long. And then uh, we'll cover it up with a couple of these big branches, these big uh, things here, and that'll keep the coals uh, alive. And then in the morning we can use that kindling again and get a fire started. And it's about uh, seven o'clock right now, so we got about an hour and maybe 10 minutes of light, and then it'll be dark. So we thought, well, we go ahead and get started. We've got our camp and stuff pretty well set up. Uh, uh, everything's pretty well ready to just go to bed, but we'll probably stay up until eh, maybe 11 or 12 o'clock. Hopefully we'll have plenty of wood to do that, and we'll try at least. So, yeah, looking pretty good right now, and it's feeling good. I can already feel the heat. <laughs> I, I tell you, I'm getting dementia or something because I keep forgetting to push the record button. This is like about the fourth time in the last video. So, uh, anyways, we're heating supper here and uh, beef stew. Yep, it's mount, mountain mountain house. mountain house, and I'm having uh, chili mac with beef. And uh, I think the last video we actually gave you a little demonstration on how to make them. So we're not going to do that again tonight. Um, we're just going to show you how to eat them. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, I uh, I have, you can see I'm in my short sleeves right now. Now, I think it's probably about, what, 44? Yeah, cold 40, enough you shouldn't be in short sleeves. Yeah, but I'm, I'm letting my shirt dry out. And I'm really not cold because we got a fire uh, going here. And uh, it's not burning super great yet, but it will be here pretty soon. We're going to put some more stuff on it. And... Uh, uh, but I thought I'd dry my shirt out a little bit and then I'll put my other one over top. I basically use Walmart stuff, these starter ones, and this is just one of those, you know, uh, stay dry uh, shirts underneath and it kind of wicks stuff out. It gets a little damp, but now I've been sitting here for about, oh, probably, what, a half an hour or so? And uh, my shirt's almost dry. And I'll put my other one, which was already dry, on top of it. It's kind of like an Under Armour thing, but it's, all, again, a Walmart starter one. And... Uh, it's a fitted one, and it does a really nice job as well. Uh, I also have I have uh, some Russell uh, undergarments on. Uh, again, that's Russell is the brand for uh, um, Walmart, and then I have just a plain set of nylon sweats here. Uh, I find the sweats are really nice. They don't get tangled up in the um, uh, bar. Uh, barbed wire or in the briars and stuff they tend not to get hung up in that stuff and like some of my other stuff does like sweatpants and stuff so that's really helpful and then if they get wet they'd really dry out fast so uh in fact i i'm you know i got them a little damp this morning or this afternoon coming in and and they're all dry now so so i really like that uh chelsea's got a i have a fleece on it's like a nice warm thick fleece with uh, just a long sleeve sweatshirt underneath and a t-shirt under that um that Keeps me pretty good. And then for hiking, I have um, some leggings on, just black leggings. They're from Target, I think. Um, and then I packed with some shorts over it, and then I packed um, some thick cotton sweatpants just for when it got colder and to sleep in. And then I have two pairs of socks on right now. Um, and I actually were by the fire, so I have my um, <laughs> shoes off to keep my, because it's keeping my feet actually warmer than in my shoes. And then um, I packed some thicker socks to actually sleep in because if my feet are cold then I am cold so I've learned <laughs> to wear multiple pairs of socks yeah first time we went she was that was about the only thing was her feet were cold we do have the hand warmers the the hot hands um, and so we'll probably put a pair of those in between a layer of socks not right next to the skin and that'll help to keep warm too i'm a diabetic and so i have to be kind of careful because i can't feel when my feet are getting really really cold until they're really cold and so uh so what i do is i put a little of those hot warms i just put one in my sock inside you know i usually wear two pairs of socks i put them between the pairs of socks and that keeps me plenty warm and uh, i've not had any problem even down to zero degrees uh, in my sleeping bag. So I'm hoping that'll be fine for tonight. And uh, uh, maybe we won't even need that. Uh, like I say, I'm really warm here. We're, we're by the fire and the fire's cooking pretty good. So uh, it's throwing out some heat. So I'm really not cold at all right now. So uh, yeah. So uh, we're gonna, I, I'm gonna eat here for, while my food's still hot. 
and uh, we'll get back on and talk about some other stuff. It's a beautiful evening. It's about, uh, well, I don't know what time it is. Push my button there at the bottom left, left, left. Yeah. Yeah, 7.30. So it'll be dark probably about an hour max. So we'll have to get our lights for our heads and stuff like that pretty soon. Uh, got my harmonica out, so maybe I'll play a little tune on the harmonica this time. I'm um, not very good. In fact, I'm pretty bad. But uh, uh, anyways, we might be able to play that a little bit. So see you in a few. We got our bear bag up here. Uh, we have seen bear on this property before, but not regularly. Once in a while you have a one coming through. So we've put up a bear bag just to make sure. Uh, there are some coyotes around here as well. So we got tied off this tree. Uh, probably really should be out a little farther on that limb because the bear probably could get it. But uh, since I don't think we're really going to have one, I'm not really worried about it. And uh, so there it is. Well, we're just sitting here by the fire and it's pretty warm and we've eaten and I have some tea and I think Dad has some coffee. Um, it's pretty chilly but we're very warm by the fire. I'm actually getting hot. I might have to take my fleece off here shortly. Um, but yeah, it's been a really fun day. I think the thing I like the best is that um, it was kind of a short hike in. I mean, it was up a hill so that's never fun but um, then it was downhill and then we could just kind of drop our packs off and explore a little bit which is fun um it's my grandma's property so i haven't been back here since i was about six and my sisters and i got lost so i refused to come back um after that so it was kind of fun to go she's got some cliffs around here that we went and explored and just kind of had some fun time you know walking around i think that's more fun to me than actually packing for like three to four or five whatever plus miles i'd rather just do a quick one to three mile hike and then explore around without the pack on my back because it's a little bit easier so yeah i also am very thankful it's it's uh, a lot warmer our fire is pretty good and uh when we were at zaleski the last time in november uh, it was pretty cold so i'm more prepared clothing wise but our fire is also better so that has been super exciting so yeah we're just kind of hanging out by the fire and uh, we'll just kind of hang out here until we get sleepy and want to go to bed i think you can see me because of the fire oh there now you can see me better <laughs> here i'll kind of aim this way there we go you see two-thirds of my face looks like i'm a crescent moon or something like that anyways <laughs> okay that's enough <laughs> so yeah uh the last time i was here uh i was snow winter camping at Solo. It was my first Solo. And if you have seen that, you might have remembered that I was worried about not being able to cut enough wood to have a decent fire. And uh, I know. that's uh, that's kind of uh, exactly what happened to me that night. And so I had to, uh, uh, I, I ended up not having a very good fire and I wasn't as warm as what I uh, could be. But this uh, this time when I came, it wasn't just me cutting wood either and gathering. It was also Chelsea. And my last uh, uh, video from down at Zaleski, Lindsay was with me and she helped as well. So we were able to get plenty of wood, which then we could really burn and, and uh, you know, have a good fire. So even though it's cold tonight, I don't know if you can see my breath here. Yeah, I don't know if you can actually see it. But anyways, it is, I can see my breath. So it is cold tonight. Uh, I'm guessing it's probably below 40 already, uh, maybe in the 39, 38 range. But it's not cold here at all in front of the fire. I'm, I'm, I'm like toasty warm. In fact, I've had to unzip my uh, uh, vest and that kind of thing. I've got a vest on, and then I have just a long-sleeved uh, polyester shirt. And then I have another that other shirt that I was wearing out just with the short sleeve. I have that on, and that's all I have. And uh, I'm I'm plenty warm right here. Now, when I go to bed, what I'll do is I'll I'll change these and I'll put another uh, long sleeve shirt on that's dry, and another t-shirt that's dry, and uh, that I haven't sweat in at all. And then uh, I I have a down jacket and I have this vest, and I'm not sure which I'm going to wear yet. I'll probably put one on, probably the. Uh, I'll probably wear a sweater and then I'll probably have my down jacket in there, but I may just put it underneath me uh, just to make sure I stay warm. I haven't really decided yet. I might use it as a quilt over top instead. Uh, I just haven't really decided yet. We'll have to wait and see how the uh, hammock feels and that kind of thing. But uh, yeah, I'm not really too worried about being cold right now. I'm, I'm 
uh, really excited about this fire keeping me warm and so when I go to bed I'm definitely going to be warm. It's nine o'clock right now we'll probably stay up another hour, hour and a half and uh, um, so we'll just depends on whether we got enough to talk about otherwise we may just go to <laughs> sleep because we may run out of things to say. So uh, beautiful night though the stars are starting to come out we can see Jupiter and uh, um, another bright star which I can't really tell because I'm in these trees so I just know one of them is Jupiter but I can't see much of anything else yet I think that some of the clouds are still cloudy I think it is going to clear up though tonight I think by you know two o'clock or so it's going to get clear and then it's of course going to get even colder uh, but I don't think it's going to get below probably 36 or something like that if it stays above 30 I'm not too worried uh, when we got water and it'll keep warm and uh, it won't freeze so I think we'll be good It's 37 degrees right now, but sitting here by the fire doesn't feel like that at all. Uh, not, not really cold at all, uh, and all I've got is this vest on and, and a couple shirts. And So, yeah, it's not too bad. Uh, here's the fire. There's Chelsea <laughs> warming her backside. That's right, yeah. And I think what we're going to do is go out here just a little bit and check the sky and see if we can see some stars. Since it's 37, I'm guessing it's probably clearing off a little bit, so we're going to check that out. Then I'll come back a little bit later. Hi there. Well, I'm in my hammock, and I'm feeling very comfortable right now, but my gosh, was it hard to get in. I, uh, I have this pitched so I can uh, kind of lay diagonally, but between my recharge and my Reflectix plus my zero degree pad, I'm so high that I, I'm having a hard time. I had a hard time getting into my sleeping bag without falling out. And so uh, uh, that's kind of, I got a real sweat just uh, <laughs> just getting into the bag. So I'm gonna have to cool off for a little bit. But uh, my, uh, my underside is warm. Uh, I feel like it's nice and warm underneath me, so I don't think I'm going to get cold as long as I can kind of air out a little bit here. So, so yeah, but I got to figure that out. I think if I don't do the pitch, if I don't use the ridge line, I might, uh, it might kind of gather up around me better, and it might be better when I'm trying to do this in the cold uh, and just not worry about uh, uh, doing the diagonal lay, because I'm fine, I'm pretty comfortable like this. Uh, much more than I am if I'm just laying uh, on the bottom of the floor in a tent. So, uh, yeah, so we'll find out. Uh, it's about 35 degrees, I think, right now. Might get down as low as 34, 33 tonight. So, this is a pretty good test of it. If I can make it tonight, then when it's 50 degrees, I don't think I'm going to have any problem. And I would tend to use this more in that kind of weather. So. Got the fire kind of all stoked up and and uh, put some kind of not real wet wood but kind of wet big pieces on the top so I think we'll be able to uh, keep uh, keep the coals there and then tomorrow morning when we get up uh, it I mean, I've got some kindling and I've got some small sticks and I think we can get a fire going just to get warmed up a little bit so Chelsea's in her tent and uh, I think it's working out well, and uh, so if I can just kind of cool off, and my head's all sweaty here, so I can't believe how hard it was to get in this bag. Uh, I should have practiced that this afternoon instead of cutting quite so much wood. I got plenty warm <laughs> just doing that, so uh, yeah. So uh, 
Bullwinkle is enjoying this. It's pretty easy for him to get in here. In fact, the, the big problem is he gets lost in here sometimes. He gets underneath the recharge and uh, that kind of thing. So, yeah, this Pri Priya uh, Recharge XL is probably a little big for the hammock, but I got it because I also sleep in tents sometimes and I wanted a nice big bag, uh, a big pad, so it was comfortable for me. And uh, But this is really warm underneath. I, I mean, my... I'm feeling heat on my back and underneath my legs and stuff, so I think uh, I don't think I'm going to get too cold tonight. And uh, I can just kind of oh, put a hat on, and uh, I've got hot pads in my feet, uh, one on each feet, uh, one on each foot, in between my two layers of socks. I got two socks on, and then uh, I have one on my back, one of those that you. Uh, press on your shirt and uh, so that's kind of warm too and that's nice and then I have one or two of them in my pants pockets so if my hands get cold I can just put them down my pants pocket I'm fine and uh, I got a hat here so I'll pull that on after I'm trying to dry my hair out a little bit so that as you can see it's pretty wet <laughs> if I'm trying to get in here so I'm going to let that cool off for a while uh, and then I'll put the hat on and I should be good. I've actually got a couple hats, so if this one gets wet and I get cold in the morning, I can just stick another one on. And I, I think I've actually got three, so. Yeah, so it's midnight right now. I'm gonna try to go get some shut-eye. If I still wake at two or so, I'll get back on and uh, at least tell you whether I'm warm or not. So, happy trails and pleasant dreams. Well, good morning. Uh, I survived a night in my hammock, my first night, my first hang, and uh, it was great. Uh, I stayed toasty and warm all night, and I think it got down to 26 last night, so uh, uh, the fact that I was able to stay warm uh, it was really impressive. My per Perea uh, recharge works great, keeping me warm, and I had a Reflectix underneath that. However, it kept shifting on me, and uh, I had to get up once to use go take a pee, and so I uh, uh, rearranged it then and got it back in, and uh, uh, but it it went pretty good. I I'm gonna need to work on the <laughs> pitch a little bit of the thing I think my head was a little low or a little high I kept sliding down and uh, I think uh, uh, I may have my um, ridge line a little bit too tight too I might have to loosen that up just a little bit but uh, overall pretty good night I like the hammock obviously a hammock's better without a pad in it <laughs> it's a lot more comfortable and fits you a little bit better but uh, uh, Instead of spending a lot of money on a under quilt, uh, I basically use the pad that I can use in the tent or here, and uh, it worked great for me. Beautiful sunrise this morning. Uh, I watched that, and then I kind of dozed back off and went to sleep. It's about 8.30 now, so I'll probably get up and start uh, putting some stuff away and see if I can maybe... Uh, kick up a little bit of fire it's supposed to get to be uh, up in the 50s pretty quickly this morning so it's really not that cold but uh, it's still a little chilly yet so had a beautiful frost on the fields this morning too uh, didn't get a picture doing that justice because I didn't want to get out of the uh, sleeping bag but uh, yeah so uh, get I sure don't really want to get up. I think I just want to lay here for another couple hours. Uh, but probably get up here pretty soon. Well, it's a beautiful morning. Uh, we've got the tarp uh, or the hammock all torn down. Most of it, everything's packed away in the bag. Still got a few more things to pack yet. This is the part of backpacking I hate is packing up and then hiking out. Uh, hiking's not too bad, but just uh, with this like to be able to stay longer but uh, uh, then if you stay longer you got to bring more stuff which means you got to carry more stuff so 
uh, one night stands are probably uh, good for uh, my legs and my back so anyways uh, it's nice and warm it's almost 50 degrees I think right now and uh, so it supposedly got down in the mid 20s last night at least about two miles from here I don't know if it was that cold here I didn't get any ice in my uh, water but uh, uh, I don't know maybe maybe it actually was there I it had a little insulation around the water so there's actually some bugs here this morning so uh, uh, I know it's getting warmer so anyways uh, we're gonna continue to tear down we had breakfast uh, Chelsea had chicken and dumplings and I had uh, uh, eggs and scrambled eggs and bacon and uh, mountain house again so uh, we got those and got them fixed pretty quickly and uh, I'm just finishing up a cup of coffee here and then uh, gonna go finish packing up and, and then we'll head back over the hill and uh, uh, that'll that'll wear off all of the eggs that I ate this morning so, catch you later Chelsea's tearing the tent down back there I don't know if you can see this Ah, uh, well, she's just packing up what's in the tent. The little tent, uh, the little cheapo that we got, uh, worked really well last night. Of course, it didn't rain or anything. That'll be the real test. We'll have to get it out in a nice, heavy rainstorm. But uh, it worked pretty good. And, uh, had a lot of room for one person, uh, not much room for two, but uh, that's why I got it. It's basically just for one of us. Uh, we could fit maybe Chelsea and Lindsay in there if we needed to. But uh, uh, yeah, it uh, worked out better. I thought, especially for 35 bucks or whatever it was, 38 bucks, uh, that's a lot cheaper than 100 for a Eureka. So if it works even most of the time for me, uh, since I'm retired, I try to do most of my backpacking in uh, warm weather anyway. So hopefully we can try to stay away from that. Okay, we're all packed up. What do you got to say? <laughs> yep, so it's all cleaned up. We're gonna leave that wood there, maybe use it later, or maybe somebody else will use it. So. All right, gotta get my backpack on and we're ready to go. It's a pretty bad hill here, plus it's really muddy. So it makes it pretty steep and pretty slippery. Okay. We made it. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot warmer today than. Yeah, today. it's about 60 now, not quite, but almost. So it's pretty hot coming up over the hill, and. Uh, the hill's harder to come yeah. back from than going in. Yeah, it's about uh, six tenths of a mile. The hill is, and it's probably a 30 percent grade, 25 percent grade in some places. So. But it's all uphill. Yeah. Anyways. We made it. We are done. Uh, normally at this time we would go to McDonald's and go to a fast food burger of some kind. But uh, we're uh, out in the country at uh, my mother-in-law's house. So we're going to go in and get showered up. And then we're going to go over to my sister-in-law's. And she got a brand new horse. We're going to go see that and have some pizza. So uh, right now though I'm going to go in and I'm going to have a nice... <laughs> I'm gonna have a nice diet Coke, cherry or a Coke Zero. So yeah. So what do you got to say, Chelsea? Oh, it's pretty fun, but uh, climbing out was uh, hard work for sure. Yeah. All of them, not very fun. Yeah. I just think I did that in snow. It's in snow, man. Yeah, I probably was that day. So yeah. Well, good trip. Tested out the little tent and got some bugs out in terms of sleeping in the hammock. I stayed warm. That was the main, main thing. And I was very comfortable. I feel really good this morning. So uh, still still have problems sleeping out in the country. I just get so excited with, about all the stuff that I'm testing. I can't stop thinking about it. So, But uh, so far I feel pretty good. So. All right. Well, we hope you enjoyed uh, uh, this. And just remember, as we always say, if we can do it, you can do it too.